So welcome to Bacon Trees. Uh, today I'm going to go over how to fix a VGA cable, like a 15 pin VGA. You can see these two cables here. The one on the right is fine. All the pins are lined up properly. The one on the left has a bent pin. So we'll take a look at that. You can see at the upper left corner there's a bent pin. So we can fix this. You can't connect it properly uh, without damaging that pin. And if you damage that pin, as you can see, one of the components of the signal might not show up. So I haven't memorized what every single pin does. I have a chart for it, but I want all 15 pins lined up properly. So how do I do it and how do I prevent it from happening in the future? First of all, precision screwdriver. I look at the pin over here. So lightly put the screwdriver behind it if I can fit it. If I have to get it away from the back, I'll just tweak it a bit, maybe with a smaller screwdriver. And then slowly, very slowly, just wedge the pin back into place. You've got to be careful. You don't want to snap the pin because then the cable can be useless, depending on what signal's coming through it. So I'm going to just bend the pin. back into place. That's where it should sit. But now I'm going to take this $6 VGA turnaround and I'm going to put it on here with all the pins lined up. And the pins are lined up and protected. Now when I go to wrap the cable I'm going to wrap the other end in the other side of the turnaround. So all pins are protected during shipping. So you might think, okay, why don't I just put one of those plastic covers on? You can, but for six bucks, this is gonna protect your cable. And I never suggest people ever get 100 foot VGA cables unless it's a permanent install. If it's a temporary install and you're gonna be taking the cables out regularly, I'd suggest getting 50 foot cables and using a VGA turnaround and always, always protect the pins, right? Let's take a look at the pin I fixed and see after I take the turnaround off, it's still gonna be in place. Ooh, I dropped it, but it's still in place and upon testing, I'll find the cable works. So I will put the turnaround back on. And if I want to keep it permanent on here, of course I want a mail-to-mail -mail cable in a lot of cases, so I don't want to necessarily use the screws to lock it in place, unless I want it to be permanent. But this is just for protecting the pins uh, uh, when I'm not using the actual cable. So it's up to you whether you want to actually lock these things into place to keep that thing on permanently, or, you know, semi-permanently, because you're going to be able to take it off, or you just want to use it to protect the pins. All right? That's VGA cable fixing and preventing from happening again.